Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We have just taken Lorath, which is a huge step in our uh, our conquering of all of Essos. Now the thing is, we're going to need to give that away, but I'm going to wait a couple seconds because there will no doubt be events for this. Also, at the start of each episode, we're going to do our sister check. Still widowed. Okay, not marrying her yet. Okay, wait a couple days. we got a couple of houses joint... Um, for being created, the wars between the great powers of the Iron Throne have subsided for now. Everyone should jump back underneath us. We will reappoint our old council. Your septum is offered to go through all your newly acquired titles. No, I'm fine, thanks. Wait for everybody to actually jump back underneath. So the Reach at war with the... Uh, yes. The Reach are at war with the Vale over Highgarden. That's fine. Uh, we will now give away some of these things. So, also, who can we righteously imprison? I don't know why we can righteously imprison him, so don't care. You want to replace someone as counselor? You want to replace someone as counselor? Okay. So, who are we going to give Lorath to? Well, do we have any unlanded sons? Who's the oldest? That'd be Aenys, right? Unlanded? Currently has nothing else going on with him. We will grant him the... Um... Now, do we have to grant him, like, the Lordship of Lorath, then the whole thing? I think that's how it works. So we'll grant him the Lordship of Lorath. So he's no longer a Justicar. Then we grant him... We can't grant... Do we Do we have a High Lordship of, of uh, Lorath? Kingdom of Lorath. Okay. Um, How do I give this to somebody? Like, I want to give it to our son. Uh, no real ideas here. Does somebody already have it? Oh, he, he, oh, wait, no, he doesn't already have it. Or does he? He has the high city of Lorath. Okay. But we have the kingdom of Lorath. Do we have to give it to a Lorathi? Like, um, could we give it to you? We cannot give it to you. Okay. That's weird. Um, and we can't give any titles to him. Uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but we will see. Uh, let's first of all sort out these situations. So him, what are we doing with him? Uh, could we revoke his titles? We cannot revoke his titles. He must have titles that can be revoked. It must not be the target or justification for any ongoing war. Uh, is it because the War of Bravos is still going on? Possibly. Uh, possibly. I think what we want to do is we want to... Can we execute him? Um, increase our tyranny by 5 for a courtier or 10 for a landed vassal excluding own slaves. Okay. So probably don't want to do that. Um, I don't really want to release him either. That also seems bad, although apparently all of our vassals will be happy. I guess ransoming him is the option we're going to go with. Maybe. Um, that doesn't seem great. I'm going to continue waiting for an event. We'll, we'll wait a couple of days. Some of your kin are unhappy you granted the city of Lorath to Lord Master Aenys Blackfires. They're expected to be granted the title themselves. Okay, fine. Now can we grant it away? No? Okay. Um, it's really weird that we can't get rid of the Kingdom of Lorath. We can get rid of the High Lordship of King's Landing. Hmm. Wonder whether we need to not hold land in the area? I don't know. That doesn't seem right. But you know what? We'll give him everything in Lorath. That's, that's fine. We'll give him the Sceptre of uh, Willow's Reach. We'll give him the city of Willow's Reach. We'll give him the... No, not city of... King, the lordship of Willow's Reach. Uh, okay. Is that enough? Ah, oh, we still can't give him it. Weird. Yeah. Very weird that we can't give him it. Like, because all of this is like... This is all Lorath. And we have the high lordship. What's the... Like, uh, the way of look looking at conditions of it, like... We can't destroy it. Because we would have to have 40,000 prestige. Okay. 
Um, hmm. Weird. Are our vassals unhappy that we hold multiple empires? Oh, is it because it's an empire title? I just realized it might be an em. No, it's a kingdom title, obviously. Yeah, because it says that we cannot make it our primary because it has to have the same rank as the previous one. Okay. Uh, we'll work through. We'll work through this. Um. Oh yeah. So I was seeing if anyone's actually unhappy that we're holding it. No, no one's unhappy that we're holding it. So I guess we just continue to hold it. Uh, I guess I kind of want the high city of Lorath then, because no, I don't care about the high city because it should be in theory the duchy, right? It's just a duchy within Lorath. Okay. I'm very confused, and you may have noticed that. So what we're going to do... Wait, what What do we hold that's wrong? We hold the City of King's Land. That, we can give that one away in a minute. That's going to be our Gold Cloak commander, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Like, because that would be Bertrand was in that position. Uh, yes, because he is commander of the Gold Cloaks. Okay, so we can sort that out in a minute. Um, let's ransom off all of our prisoners. Let's just get rid of them. We obviously can't do anything with them apart from ransom them, so let's ransom them. Take on Merlin Prester as a squire. Why would I do this, and why are you not being educated by your father? Uh, Merlin Prester. Be educated by you. Yes. Okay. Uh, we need a Master of Laws, but that's because they're currently fighting, I think? Or Oh no, because we Aenys was our Master of Laws. So we can have him as Master of Laws again, or we can put someone like Davin in charge. Okay. Uh, Davin seems like a good choice, actually. So we'll put Davin in charge. Uh, we don't need him to fabricate claims anymore, so we'll work out what we're doing with him in a minute. Uh, City, let's give that away. Let's give that away to lead, you know, Gold Cloaks. I think this actually gives City away anyway. So we've got two options. We've got Rickard, who is Hand of the King. Or we got our courtier, Bry uh, Byron Flower. Wait, is that the... Um, now I know if I click on him that will, how do I get to his actual page? Because I know if I click on him that gives him the title, so I'm trying to figure out how, oh no, it, it must be a different person I'm thinking of, because uh, this has race nobility, I was thinking he was a noble person, that's fine, we'll give it to our Hand of the King. He's no longer our Hand of the King, but that's fine, we can reappoint him to that if we want. Did that give away our city title. Yes, it did. Okay. So, Rickard was our Hand of the King. He can continue being our Hand of the King. Perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Everything should be set up there. Um, we ha we don't hold too many titles. Uh, yeah. And we'll let these guys kind of have their things sorted out. Some of your kin are unhappy you granted a whole bunch of stuff to Lord Master A. Aenys Blackfire. Yes. Okay. Your Grace, may live in harmony and contentment. Are we willing to accept the boy Merlin here at Feastfires as a ward of Lord Rupert Prest, but only if the pr payment of coins provided to cover the expense of having him here? He's your own son, isn't he? Why, why would I educate him over you? I mean, okay, I'll do that just to get rid of the events. We'll give him 40 gold. Uh, okay. I think we're, I think we're sorted. Are we sorted? Dear uh, father may live in harmony and content. Let's go to plot where Lord Guard of uh, Blackhaven seeks to fabricate a claim on the kingdom of the Storm of Stormlands. Okay, I'm not too bothered. Right. Next thing we need to do. Um, we need to go to. Oh, the War of Pentos ended anyway. Uh, okay. That's some land war has been declared over there, on the north. I think that's the Riverlands are declaring on the north for what they call the Freylands. I guess that would be Greywater Watch. Okay. Um, I was seeing where the other war ended. Ah, in inconclusively. Cool. So I think we can disband our troops now. Yeah. That seems fine. We have an army somewhere else which we can disband. We have uh, some ships somewhere else that we can disband. And once these ships get into port, we can decide what we're doing next. Okay, cool. Uh, Your Grace, I humbly ask you to intervene on my behalf against the aggression of Lord Paramount Rodwell Stark, who is invading. Oh, so he's he's uh, oh he's invading down. Oh, okay, into the twins. Oh, there's Freelance. Okay, 
um, against the aggression of Lord Paramount Rodwell Star, who has invaded my lands in obvious contravention to the peace of the realm. I would be eternally grateful for your support in this matter. Yours, Lady Paramount Serini of House Bittersteel. Well, it's our granddaughter married to our son. We will order him to stand down. That seems fine. Your Grace, I'll of course obey your will and end the war's commanded. Please take this sign of my continued loyalty. Good. Good. Do we have our council set up properly? Should have Serini on it, and then the other one was probably someone from the Vale or the Reach, but instead we will have... Uh... Actually, I think we had the High Septum on it, didn't we? Yeah. There we go. That works. Very loyal council. Wait just a couple of days. I'm going to see if we can give away this. No, we can't give him anything higher. Okay. Maybe he has to be a duke before we can give him it? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, also, did I not ransom all prisoners? Hmm. Maybe they didn't, they didn't have enough to ransom too. We'll see. Wait just uh, two months. Let the game sort out what it's doing. My vassal Lady Paramount Serene Bit still requested that Lord Carol Darry of Darry should be sworn to her rather than me directly. Uh, should he? Yep. Okay. Sure. Done. And, uh, it appears like nothing has happened, so... I'm gonna release this guy. Because I wanna test something. I wanna release him and see- I can't grant him the Kingdom of Lorath either. Oh, so I just can't grant anybody the- Can I grant you the Kingdom of Lorath? I can't grant you anything. You the Kingdom of Lorath? Nope. You the Kingdom of Lorath? Yes, I can grant you the king. What's different about you? Um, I have no idea what's different about him. Okay. Oh, is it perhaps because the kingdom of Lorath is not a... Uh... Aha, I think I figured it out. So this person is a city owner, right? Yep. Our son is now a city owner. Yeah, so he's a republic. This guy is not a republic, therefore we can grant him the kingdom. Ah, so if we wanted our son to have it, what we would have to have done is we would have to have given him a title that was not a city. Then he would have been able to hold it. I see. We'll do that for the next one. Um, now, is that the only person who can hold this thing? I think so. Um, yeah, unless we want to give it to a weird green mustache guy. Uh, I guess we'll give it to the person who allowed us to do the claims in the first place. We'll give it to Lord Davos. There we are. He's going to think we're the best people in the world. There we are. He now holds the Kingdom of Lorath. Fantastic. He's now King Davos. Uh, I would like to get rid of his uh, king ability. Uh, him being called king. Can we, like, revoke royal privilege? I guess not. Okay. Right. That seems to be sorted. Do we have all of our things given out yet? Uh, also, is our sister still a widow? Still a widow? I think we're ready to start another war. Uh, how many men do we have? Uh, we currently only have 1,800 of our, of our own. We'll wait maybe until June. And then we'll declare another war. That's alright. Okay, April. Nothing's going too badly. It also gives the Reach a chance to end their war. Um, which should end soon. Maybe not that soon. I'd like to declare on Bravos next. Uh, Saldor the Ill Rulers declared the Lorathi War for Magister uh, Izelno the Second's claim on Lorath on King Davos of Lorath. Okay, so these guys have declared a war to put this guy back in charge. Alright. So they have 600 men versus their 2,000 men. I think we're going to command him to end the war. See what happens. Your Grace, I'll of course uh, obey your will and end the war as commanded. Please take this as a sign of my continued loyalty. Signed, Prince Salador of House uh, Reltis. Okay, cool. Next war, we will declare on Bravos. Oh, uh, wait, why can't we declare war? Must have a valid Cassus Belly to declare war. Neighboring realm and you have slaves? Or do you not have slaves anymore? You have no slaves anymore. I see. Norvos? Uh, you have slaves. We can declare a liberation war and emancipation war in Novros. We can't declare a liberation war. Why not? That's interesting that we can't declare liberation. We can only declare emancipation. 
Huh. Uh, how about you? Do you have slaves? You don't have slaves. We could declare our wars to claim it for many people, but nothing like that. Vassalization? No. Uh, you. Do you have slaves? No. Uh, I guess it would only be normal so we can declare- Oh, we can declare on Kohor. They're far enough. We have a border of them. And we can declare a liberation of Kohor. Cool. That works out for me. It uh, might be... I'm trying to figure out why we... Oh, is this because this isn't Norvos? This is Norvos. And we can... Oh. Right. This is... Nine or so? Right. So we could only declare uh, a claim nine on them. You don't have... Wait, you do have slaves though. And we do border. That's a little bit weird, right? I don't know. It seems odd about when you're allowed to declare wars. There's probably sensible in the background. Sensible reasons for it. Let's declare our liberation war on uh, Kohor. How many men do Kohor have? They have 7,000 men. They have no alliances. Alright, let's do it. One liberation of Kohor coming up. A whole bunch of people are no longer uh, like underneath us because we've de declared a war. Let's uh, merge up all of our troops. Let's get all of our vassal levies raised. Um... We have these guys, don't need them. Apart from that, I think we're alright. Get everybody on the mainland heading over here. We're also going to raise up all of our fleet levies. There we go. Get them on the boats. Move them over. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah, uh, do we have any other boats? We have some boats down there. Uh, we have some more over here. Ah, maybe... Wait, why, why do we hold this... Why are you underneath me directly? That's interesting. Um, hmm. That is interesting. Oh well. Not too worried. How about you? You're already there. You, you're already there. Okay, did you raise up any men for me? No. I'm just kind of scanning around now. Like, do we have any other land that I'm not expecting? You're there. Oh, we have this land here. Which, for some reason, is directly underneath us. The Caucus went land. Oh, that's because they declared for us, but the Reach did not declare because the Reach was current was in its own war. So when the war ended, they can bend back underneath the Iron Throne, but the Reach is in its own war, so nobody can join it. Okay. Your Grace, I'll honor the my allegiance to take arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. The armies of Lorath shall join you as soon as possible. Regards, King Davos Box. And Lady Paramount Serene Bittersteel joined us. And Prince Olvar Martell joined us. Good. Good. A couple of people from the Westlands are joining. Uh, nobody else appears to be joining. My dear father, may you live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot where Sir Yorin of the Dragon's Gate seeks to fabricate a claim on the High Lordship of King's Landing. No, we're going to imprison you for that. Uh, they were unable to get past his guards, but he saw the futility in resisting and surrendered himself to our custody. Cool. We will now um, call for a trial. See how that goes. So Yorin of the Dragon's Gate demanded travel for the court which Commander Rickard shall oversure, oversee to ensure justice is served. He begins to present his defence, but the court does not seem impressed to cut a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Strutting back and forth, Commander Rickard masterfully questioned the accused, using every superlative available in the common tongue, he captivated the court, ripping through the accused's defence and showing him to be a liar. A verdict has been reached. Johan of House Cole is guilty. Well, we'll send him to the wall. And that now means that Lady Scarola of the uh, Dragon Gate is now in charge. Okay. Feel very good that we put a four-year-old in charge of the Dragon's Gate. Cool. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we will do our war with uh, Kohor and then we can see where we're going from there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>